Hi, Tim Roberts here, Application Engineer with Go Engineer. This quick tip video is going to show you some of the simulation tools available in Flow Simulation. We, um, when we're talking about graphically representing the, the data that's been ran, um, we, here we have a project, uh, we've got some results, we're going to look at uh, several plots, the first of which will be the trajectory plot. Uh, this is what the trajectory plot looks like when you use um, several different ways to display it. The spheres option, uh, in my opinion, looks the most realistic. However, you get some other choices here. So we're going to um, look at the spheres, um, and we're going to animate this plot to sort of look at the, the real-life flow situation. So to animate the plot, you can uh, right-mouse click and say play. And that'll play a little video showing the movement, um, in this case, of air through our enclosure. You can see on the back side it's coming in through, uh, through a fan entrance. And um, you can see the distribution of the volume throughout the uh, enclosure. And this is usually one of the primary things you want to look at uh, within an analysis like this. Another type of plot we can do is called the surface plot. Uh, we can plot temperature directly on the surfaces of our components. You can see that uh, the package uh, in the lower left corner is, is a little more hot, about 3, 330 Kelvin. Um, and if we look at the, the blue package, um, it's a little bit cooler, as we would expect, uh, being right next to our fan. Okay, another type of plot that we can show is called an isosurface. And this is sort of a, a 3D representation um, of, in this case, uh, temperature. And it's showing you the, the hottest areas uh, within our enclosure. Uh, it's sort of a nice plot. It gives you a real, real 3D um, representation you know, over our regular surface plot that we have. If we open up another uh, project that's been ran, another device here, we can show a cut plot. Um, in this case we're going to plot our, our density of our fluid, okay, and uh, you select a section of the, the di device to do that through, and when you play it you can get this type of animation where it goes through from beginning to end and then loops back. So that's the uh, animation of a cut plot in flow simulation. Okay, we right mouse click and we can stop that. So another type of uh, uh, data really that we can look at are our surface parameters. If we right mouse click and, and show these, uh, this is more data that um, uh, you might export to a spreadsheet for example. Uh, in addition to that, We've got all of our goals here, and, and it's important to have goals. Um, that's really what con controls the convergence of the solver and tells it when to stop. But we can do a goal plot um, in the same way and, and you know, visually plot those uh, as in you would have in a spreadsheet. So as we look at our plot, um, you can see that, that it's important to be able to see through things, right? Um, if we turn off the uh, transparency, um, you can't see a lot of these plots. So um, we can play with the level of transparency. Uh, you might want it more transparent, less transparent. You've got that control within Flow also. My name is Tim Roberts. Thanks for watching this quick tip video on Flow visualization.